in this lesson we we'll learn about embedded messages in sense how to customize the bot messages let's see that so as we discussed we no need to create uh, touch any of the index.js files so just we can create the commands from now so in the commands folder i will try to create another new file and i will name it as embed.js and uh, just i will copy the ping code so in the ping.js we have some code so i will uh, copy that and i will uh, paste that in the embedded so now i will do some modifications like i will uh, modify the ping command to embedded and uh, the description to be like uh, custom bot messages now here we need to build the custom message so before doing that we need to think of uh, what is the package we are going to do so here i am i need to again install or uh, load the import the discord api because here we need to use the discord api packages that's the reason reason i'm using this discord importing this discord js again in this variable because we need to use message embedded class so let me show you that in the documentation so in the documentation if you go here and type message so you will be getting message embedded class so this is a class we are going to use to customize the messages so that's the reason i have imported first i have imported the discord library and everything available in this discord variable here i need i will be starting that message constant embed message is equal to new i'm creating an object for discord and we need to create an object for message embedded as shown here as seen here so miss discord dot message embed so you can see it is available in the third place so now i have created a class an object to this message embedded class so now you can use what all the properties you want if you go back to the library here you can see these many methods you can use it means you can set the author set the color set the image footer thumbnail title everything all these features can be used now we can use as a properties so we also use an attach files property method as well so let's see one by one so it's not like you you should use all these properties for sure you can use whatever the properties are needed for you so now let's i'm using so once i'm not keeping any uh, semicolon here i'm continuing this command with dot so with dot dot set title so i will uh, try to keep a title for this so this would be like a custom message so again i'm adding one more property to the same class so here i will uh, try to keep uh, set footer you can uh, see by the time i click set it is giving all the required things for us so i will set the author and set the author as well and same our name so now i will set the footer So these are the sample things we need to do. So now I'm closing this. So only I have used three properties: title, author, and footer. You can use as many properties you want. So I will also oh, how to show this. Uh, it is in the same way like message. As we know, message dot channel dot send. So now I need to send this constant variable, embedded message. So this should be sent here. so let's see whether it works or not you need to give embed as a command so let's go back so uh, i am running the server and the server is up and running so i will go back here and uh, i am giving embed as a message once you give, give this see you can see and custom bot message this is not as usual message so usually the bot replies in this way so now we are trying to customize the bot messages so the title comes the author name comes at the top the title would be center line and the footer would be small line small font and it would be at the bottom 
So this is how you can customize the messages of the bot. So also you can have one more option called attachment. You can attach the images or the files. So let me show you that. So attach files. So this takes an uh, array of inputs. So in the first input, uh, I will uh, take one uh, image. So this is a random image URL. You can keep you can keep any of the URL here. So I'm uh, keeping one random image URL. And also you can uh, have this uh, one more. I will also attach one more uh, document as well. Let me do that. So I will attach one more document here. This is also a sample document. Let me attach this document. So I'm copy pasting the document and uh, this. So here the double quote was here. We got two single quotes. I'm removing that single quotes. Yep. So now in this attach files, I'm trying to attach the image and the one more document with it comma separated. This is an array of inputs. You can give a number of inputs here. So the idea here is if anyone asks uh, like a holiday list of the current organization, then you can provide your holiday list in a document like this. So instead of searching in somewhere else, you can provide to your users with the holiday list of the current organization, current year holiday list like that. So this would be the best use case for uh, attaching the files. So let's see that how it uh, looks. So again, I'm using embedded. So if I click this, you can uh, see I got all the messages like this is the image URL I have given. So discord.js image and also a sample file, a sample document file and the message, customized message. So in this way, you, need, you can attach the files. The best use case, as I said, you can ask the holidays list or any priority list or the day day to day life or what, what else you want to do. You can make those things and you can keep in the document. And as on when user asks that, you can uh, reply th that like this. So also you can do these embedded message conditionally. So in the conditional way also you can do this. So for example, uh, I, I wrote this. So if again, if, if the author is, if you feel if the message dot author, here yeah, the message dot author dot bot, if the message dot author dot bot or a specific user, if it is a specific user, you can also keep a condition like this based upon the author, based upon a specific user or specific author, you can keep dot set. So again, you can set some of the titles or you can modify the color of the title or uh, let me modify the title. So in this way you can do. So now I can now modify the title as well. So here what we are doing is we are conditionally keeping the embedded messages. We are conditionally modifying the embedded messages. We can also do this. So these are the things we can do with the customized embedded messages. You can refer this documentation for further properties and fields as well.